Greetings, Disky fam. Welcome to another episode of the Sisonke Disky Chat right here on the Vodacom YouTube channel. My name is Len Muleko, and this is a show where we speak to legends of the two teams that you love. Of course, I'm talking about Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs. And we have such gentlemen joining us on the show today. But before we get to them, I just wanted to remind you that you could stand a chance to win an iconic customized car. I'm talking about a Kentucky Rounder. I'm talking about a Gusheshe. If you want to put yourself in line to win one, all you have to do is visit now vodacom.co.za to stand a chance. And if you've got the official Orlando Pirates app, you get to double your entry. And for Kaza Chiefs fans, if you are connected to KC Mobile, you too get to double your entry. So head out to now.vodacom.co.za. Anyway, getting into the business of today, let me introduce my guest. I want to start right here close to me. Mr. Josta Dradla, former Kaiser Chiefs midfielder. Welcome to the Sisonke Disky Chat. Thanks for having me, Len. And yeah. to my left, uh, we were today. actually having fun. <laughs> <laughs> we were having stuff, but we're not going to get to those. Um, Roy Mahamuta, uh, former Orlando Pirates player. Welcome to the show. Thanks, man. Good. All right, gentlemen. Uh, Josta, I'm going to start with you. Um, so we see now uh, the season started last year in September. We are almost at the end of it. What, what usually goes through a mind of a player around this time? Ten games to go. I mean, I think the, the pressure is more on like, the first, the number one team, because everybody wants to beat you. Yeah. And when you look at it like uh, Sundowns, like, you know, started like a house on fire, like nobody, like, they were just beating everybody in the continent. Uh, here at home, everything was going well for them. But now, second round of the season, this is the money, the money time. As we all know, there's a top eight uh, uh, team tournament that's coming out yeah. there at the beginning of the season, and everybody's trying to fight for that uh, position. Uh, with the sundowns, I think like you know, a lot of people like are just surprised that you know they they starting to kind of like you know you see starting to see a few cracks in the, in the team. But it's just because maybe they don't rotate the squad that much. And then with the, with the other teams, uh, you know, you can see like you know, the, some coaches like you know they kind of like you know give a lot of like Kazuchis, for mm -hmm. instance, like playing in a continent. The, you see like how Gavin is he's playing like a different team in a continent. Mm -hmm. Comes back home, he's playing a different team here at home, and uh, it's surprising a lot of people as well. Like you know, he's doing well. Like in, uh, well, a lot of people don't expect them to do that well, but it's surprising a lot of teams. They've got nothing to lose, uh, and and they just have to go out there enjoy the game, and the results are starting to come. But you know, we're just gonna see a lot of surprises. A lot of people are thinking that uh, Amazulu might, like you know, yeah. come away with it. But Sunderland still got two games in hand, and uh, but games in hand doesn't mm -hmm. mean that you know, you, got, yeah, that's but you still have to play those games. Like so, it's gonna be interesting to see the last push of the season, ten games. I think it's gonna be interesting. But Sundowns, if they're not careful, they might end up losing it. You know, and and we've seen seen it happening with Kaza Chiefs. It's not like before when you, you expected Sundowns and Pirates or Chiefs to win the league. Any team now can afford to buy quality players that can do the job for them. Roy, I'm gonna go to you, ne? Uh, during your times of playing, and I mean, you guys were bulldozing everybody. You probably remember. Yeah. Because he... <laughs> he's a gentleman now, but ruthless on the field. Like, crazy. Um, yeah. During your times of playing, uh, when it gets to the stage of the season, what what are the coaches saying to you guys? Because I mean, season ya fela, lakhetsi and you just want to get to that finish line. How, how do the coach balance you guys out, uh, especially if you're playing in multiple competitions? At this stage of the season, coach, like you know, uh, most of the time, he won't give us too much pressure mm. because he knows that um, it's very crucial at this stage. And then everybody should be on tour, everybody should focus because once you go and play outside the country and then you come back again, this side, maybe you rest after two days, you're playing a league game. So it's taxing. So during my days, so the squad was, was big. So he would manage to rotate the, all the players and the guys, they were willing to work so that each and every time they, they can um, get a game time, you know, because some of the guys who might find that they're not playing in the league, mm -hmm. but they, they do get a game time when we're going to play um, maybe Confed or Champions League and stuff, you know. So, but yeah, the coach will be always on, on our back, pushing us and every time because if you drop points at this time, so um, if you want to go to top eight. Yeah. <laughs> and the next thing, um, also now I'm um, like playing like 
Pirates and Chiefs, it's a big team, um, a lose, it's, it doesn't matter whether it's a small team or a big team, or, but now all teams are equal now. If, if you can look at the log, yeah. you can see the surprises. There's no, there's no more small team and a big team. It's all about hard work of the players because they want to see themselves playing to those um, big three. They say the, the, the other big teams of yeah. Africa, South Africa, you know? So every, every time when they, they play against Chiefs or Pirates, they want to double their efforts. Uh, both of you guys mentioned something. Uh, we are squad rotation. Yeah, yeah. So about rotator, <clears throat> like let's say you're Kala League, but now today uh, you are sitting on the bench or you're not even more match day squad, and then you play on the continent. Doesn't that frustrate you as a player? Never happened that much for me. I, 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 I was never rotating most of the time. I was like a machine. <laughs> like, you know, I play, I play like week in, week out. Like, I don't believe in that rotation, but I think it seems like the players today, like, you know, they can't take the pressure and all of that. I think some of us, like, you know, flourished, like, you know, better, like, you know, under pressure. And I wanted to play every week, you know what yeah, I mean? Uh, definitely. And, and I, I think, I don't know, like, you know, I think as a player, if, if, if you are told that you're not going to be part of the squad that's playing over the weekend, you, you are going to get pissed a bit. You know what I mean? Because you want to be there, like you. Yeah. And and I understand they say like you know you all teammates, you all gotta share yeah. this and that. There's nothing like that. The person that's sitting out there must work for his like place. You know what I mean? I work for my place there. If you want to play there, you gotta work for it. So I think that's how competition it is. Like you compete with yourself first, and like compete with your teammates before you can compete with the opponents. Yeah, that's how it is. So True. it goes all the way. I, I could never. So I, I don't know that feeling because I never experienced it that much. Like you know when I still play. When are Roy? Um, like, I wouldn't know, bro, I like, if I'm not paying, I'm getting angry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting angry, but you know, um, the effort that you put in training. So you're putting, maybe you double it, and then you only you find out that now, maybe the coach is going to call and say, you know what, this game I'm not going to start you, and um, you'll be on a bench, maybe you'll come in, maybe second half. Like, you, you, you're asking yourself, there's something wrong I did? Or oh, what is it? Because if put someone else on my position, and he performs. What's going to happen in this game? What's going to Yeah. Rupert benching V, Rupert Yeah. That's a problem. And because you know now, they're putting these monitors, they said, no, you, you, your body is tired. How do you know that the body is tired? If <laughs> I'm there, I said, I want to play. You know, um, all, the, all those things. Um, but in other ways, we can't fault them. Because at the end of the day, they've got the physio, you contact the medical team. If they the agree, now, then, you know, if they agree on something, yeah. we have to stick with it. Because if we're going to be against it, if the team loses, they said, the coach didn't and I right. listen to us. So in that situation eh, of rotation, obviously you get incidents where, or not even incidents, situations whereby coach will go to the youngsters, uh, the ones that are new in the team, when somebody, because you mention it now, when you see somebody playing in your position, you're like, ah, what's happening <laughs> it's now? competition, Baba. So yeah. if, if, if you get youngsters who also get rotated, because I mean, Chiefs, Pirates, big teams, but at that point, do they understand why the rotation happens? And Elona, say, as the senior player, what role do you play in assisting them understand? Or Bon, we know you want to play every week. Mare, Camille Kochi rotate because we playing every two days or every three days. And to come in on that, um, the coaches maybe when they doing the rotation, they check the 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 the, the fixture and then they check the points. Okay, now how many points we we are safe to rotate? Mm. Maybe let's say we playing um half, mm. we are safe to rotate, or we we wanna catch up on the league this side. You know, so that's when they will introduce the youngsters, but not they, will, they won't put maybe six youngsters, maybe they'll put one or two. Mm. That's when now the, the senior players they will come in now, said, Okay, you will guide the youngsters. You know, these youngsters they'll be here that now I'm starting, and that's when he's gonna his game is gonna go down. You never know if you want to impress, and then you whatever thing you will be doing on the field. Maybe the coach doesn't like it. Mm. The next game, you're not even on the 18. And then you'll find out now, what, what did they do? And it's going to kill you. No, sometimes you'll play today. You know, um, um, Kroll, ne? Yeah. sorry to mention name. Mm. He used to, maybe you perform. The next game, he's going to come. 
talk to you, one on one. I'm not starting you. Not to say you were playing bad. Yeah. But for me, he was building my mentality. Yes. For for next game and for the future also. You know, because he's gonna talk to you and then you find maybe some of the coaches is gonna take you off. And then he won't talk to you. Like just to add up on what Groy is saying, yeah. this this I've seen decisions where a coach will like change like almost ninety percent of the team. Yeah. And nothing here will be covered the team. Yeah. And you see team now suddenly I lally sharp and like you regret like what did I do? Mm. You're trying to give other players a chance, it might work against you. Mm. Sometimes it does you, they, it might, might work, you know what I mean? So like, you know, I've seen instances where like coaches are like, oh, no, no, they're not going to do it again. And I've seen coaches that be like, no, if I've got a winning combination, I'm not going to change it unless it's an injury, you know, and it works for them as well. But, you know, fatigue can uh, come into place, but it depends on how you manage your players throughout the season. So I think at the moment now, it's how uh, the training, you train less. You know what I mean? There's more rest than more training. So, so, so some coaches like you know they still want to run a lot, yeah. and that, that kind of like you know kills like a lot of a lot of players. Mm. So smart coaches they know now it's the last push of the season. So what, what do you do? What you do is just say, stay home after the game, stay home for two days. Don't even go to gym. Don't even do anything. Go play golf. That kind of like relaxes the players. Two days before the game they come in like you know but like, yeah, tennis, rondo, rondo, rondo whatever. Friday you go to camp, you relax. Yeah. You see the boys on Saturday like you know they start doing well. So it's all about managing the players better. You know, it's not about the training. The training is at the beginning of the season. We, 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 we mentioned the last games. Uh, usually, I think when there's three, if not two games of the season left, yeah. uh, you get a situation where all the teams play at the same time. So Helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you also mentioned earlier on that um, you manage the points. You know whether you are safe or not. There's a top three, people fighting to be in the top eight. Mm -hmm. When you go into that kind of situation, the situation of all the teams playing at the same time. At the back of your mind, do you think about whoever it is that you are chasing or whoever's <laughs> chasing you? Or do you just focus on the game that you're supposed to play and not worry about other, other factors? I ah, don't get it twisted, Fana. They, they, they would lie to you and be like, concentrate on the game, forget about those ah. guys. Let's and concentrate they, on our and game, boys. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, like yeah. no, yeah, this technology, no. We gonna check out this score, fool. We do. Bakorile kara. Kada we say yam. Bakorile kara. Maruska shoot a baba bang. We na pegi no man, you know, bale bakada, balusa. We do zamuru we na upeforme hori luine, so that you can catch up on them or you can go above them. Mar does it not throw you off your game though? Because unane, unane tota pa. Kaya unane. Okay, hey, bale ba dala. What if I make a mistake and then ish? Because bako really like the, the thought process. Are you coward? That is why, if you are not mentally strong, you won't survive in this game. Yeah. So a lot of people don't understand that. I think they think football is just football out there, but it's just a lot. Uh, it takes a lot of psychological strain. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. On on a lot of players. So there's a lot of stress. You know, I mean, imagine going there. She be le you know, we should be looking for a league and all of that. Then you also at some point, you know, you might be substituted. Yeah. So you keep the pressure on its own. Luana, at the same time, you want to do well. The fans also they expect you to do well. Understand? So like when you go into the game, Otaka, there's no way for to a fellow to fail. Nobody goes into the field to lose. Yeah. We all go there That's to win. It. Understand? So there's always every game. We win the last week is seven nil. Next week we do Thomas from scratch again from zero. There's pressure again. There's always pressure. I don't care how the team is or uh, it's the end of the season or it's the beginning of the season. So pressure for football players or any other sport person is always there. All right. So now we see end of season is coming. Uh, the teams are doing well on the continent. I'm talking about Chiefs and Pirates. Yeah. So you spoke earlier on obviously about rotation and 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 and. But doesn't that also take its toll? Like let's forget training and. You are traveling, and hey, traveling on the continent is not an easy thing. How do you balance that? Yeah. So, like I said, like I think for me, rest is, is key because traveling, even if it's for like a normal business person, mm. just traveling, being on that flight, it takes a toll on other. You know what I mean? Like it's always like you're always gonna be tired. So as a coach, you have to know how to like you know after traveling, you give the boys yeah. two days to recover. Mm. Uh, you know, I think uh, if you have players that didn't play when you were traveling, rather use those players when you're playing at home. You know, so I think for me, that's where the rotation is key. 
you know, and you hope, you cross your fingers that, you know, it's not going to come back to bite you. So for me, at, at, at the moment, Kaiser Chiefs has done so well. Mm -hmm. You know, I know like they started really badly, but now the team is starting to find a balance. Mm -hmm. And uh, the coaches start, started to, like, you know, find a player that can fight for him. And uh, we see youngsters coming up, stepping up. Mm -hmm. And then when the, uh, because the senior players on the begin when the, uh, uh, the season started, uh, they didn't come up, you know, come out there like to come and help out the, the team. But the youngsters rose up, right? But now the seniors, senior players, they realize that no, no, we need to step up as well. So you can see now there's a bit of competition. They also are aware that end of the season there's new players that are coming up. Yeah, definitely. It's either they're gonna come uh, show the coach that they wanna be part of the team or not. Because end of the season, believe me. A lot of players see that they're going to lose their Whether contracts. Whether you have a contract, whether you don't have a contract, really you'll be matter. shaking. You know what I mean? They shake, yeah. You'll be, I'll be on loan. It's crazy. Or am I coming back? Or what's going to happen? Yeah. So that's, what, that's what's going to happen. So like, for me, uh, 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 Chiefs is starting to like, you know, shine when like, you know, it really matters, mm. right? And when you look at Sundowns, what's happening now? I think the boys now, they're too relaxed. They know that they've just been killing everybody. TP Mazembe, mm. eating them away. And, Everybody, like everywhere they're going, like everything is happening for them. So they're starting to, I think they started to kind of like relax a bit. And that's where the danger is at, you know, because like now everybody wants to beat you, but when are you more relaxed? Yeah. So you can't relax as if you're sundowns at the moment. Yeah. You really need to like, you know, up your game to like 110%. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because everybody wants to like, you know, kind of like, you know, yeah. so it's really going to be difficult for sundowns to hold on to that. If they really are a, a true champion team, they will show that this last 10 games. And then there are teams like, you know, like Golden Arrows. For me, I think like the last weekend, yeah. they messed up by getting a draw. Mm -hmm. It might be a surprise package, but when you look at two seasons ago, mm -hmm. uh, Super Sport, it was Golden Arrows who nearly won the league as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Two seasons later, they're fighting for that as well. And also, Benny McCarthy, mm -hmm. he was with another team, but now he took that mentality to, to Amazulu. Mm -hmm. So Golden Arrows, Amazulu, might be a surprise package for me like up there. So sometimes it must be really relaxed. I don't know how you look at it. Yeah, to, yeah. Add, to add what you are saying, Justa, um, mm -hmm. you see, at this time of the season, if, like I said earlier on, if you drop points, it's going to be difficult for you, for your, for your team. Because now, if you see the, the bottom teams also, they want to come out of that, on that relegation zone. And it's going to be difficult for maybe, let's say, Sundowns is playing against the team, maybe in the middle of the league. Yeah. That team, they want more points than Sundowns. Mm. And you, you see now, Sundowns, like, in my opinion, like, they are playing, they're dominating for the past five years or four yeah, years. Yeah, it's been like They're dominating. Yeah, you know what? Because now, if, if you have money in your pocket and you buy whatever that you want, mm. if you check Sundowns, maybe they can buy two million players playing the same position. Mm. Because they know that there's Champions League, there's Cup games, there's the league, there's injuries, there's suspensions. That's why you find that most of the time, sometimes you find that they will rotate players, but not all of them. Mm. If you see sometimes last season and this season, they're almost the same. Mm. And you see teams like Pirates or Chiefs, mm. they change players, but almost changing the whole team. Yeah. Almost yeah, the whole yeah, team. Yeah, almost the whole but, um, it depends with their structure, how they want to do things. You can't go to them and tell them, buy this one, buy this one, buy this one. Maintain like this. No, you can't. But if you check Sundowns, like, they managing. Yeah. And they, surprisingly, Amazulu, <laughs> when the season starts, where were they? Yeah. Look, yeah. look at them now. Mm. Golden Arrows. <laughs> For me, this season, I would say, one of the best teams, playing football wise and something. They're playing the best, football yeah. Yeah. like. But they've been like that, bro. They, they've been like that. So, we, we, it's just, just to maybe point, their luck now, it's coming now. Yeah. They, they really like it. Maybe she was sleeping. Maybe now she started to wake up now. Because yeah. arrows now, they're the problem. Those boys, they're the problem. And also, just to add up on that, like when you start building a team, you, take, you get rid of like a 50% of the team. The, that 50% that comes in, it's going to take them time to adjust, yeah. to understand like, you know, the blueprint of the team. Mm. Now, Sundowns, yes, they used to buy a lot of players at the same time. So like now what they do, they just add two, three players, wherever they, they lack, that's where they get it. Mm. So it's easier for them, you know. Now, Chiefs, it's going to what? They, they, they starting to do well. Mm. End of the season, they're going to get 60% of the team is going to be a totally new. I don't understand. It's going to take them like another six months to start playing well again. You know what I mean? So you don't expect, if they do well, 
next season, from the beginning of the season, that would be luck. You know what I mean? But I see them struggling again like they struggled this season. Because you see a lot of players leaving and a lot of players coming in. Pirates, it's a big team. Chiefs, it's a big team. Sundowns, it's a big team. And you're playing there. And you are there because they trust you. They know that you can deliver. If you don't deliver, what's going to happen? The, the fans of these three teams, they're impatient. You can win six today, tomorrow you lose two, <laughs> or you lose one. But does it not make a difference now because it's Hawaii or Stadium? No, oh. it, no, no, no. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. They're not there. But when you walk maybe by the malls and stuff, you'll find them. Social media and as well. They, and they know they are players. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, Social whether media. you're wearing a mask, or, they know they are players, those people. Yeah. Social media as well, like you see yeah. now, like these boys, they, they like posting their lifestyle. You know, on social and, media. And, and you know, um, yeah. during um, um, our times of playing, this thing of Instagram and you, yeah, po you yeah. posting and stuff, yeah. it wasn't there. We know that. What's not for you, Chaka? You said it was not there. What's not for you back then? I can't, you only started having no. a phone right now. Next day on a phone, Mara. You see, we're in every time. It's a little poster or no, yeah, na. Give me a bunch of Facebook fella. 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 So that's a, that's a, that's the stress that I'm talking about. Yeah. There's a lot of stresses, social media stresses, and all those type of things like you know football stresses, and like you know all the sport people are walking around like you know stressing all the time because they know that they have to produce. Mm. You know, as a, as a as a sports person, you are only good as your last game, mm. and you are judged every day. There's no time to get there and relax. Mm. Every day you go to training, you always have to fight. Yeah. The game you have to fight. You know you have to switch on. So you you are tested every day. Yeah, and, 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 and if you're not in the game, we'll see you with your first touch. <laughs> I'm telling you, you'll see you with your first touch. My man, said, my man, wake up, bro. Come on, we know you. Why? What is it? What is it? What is it? We'll lift you up. Because we know that um, always in, in the team, there's and those two really players. So there's yeah. those two players yeah. that they will inti intimidate the other op the opponents. Mm. And there's these two players okay. that, or oh, so maybe you were, three. You were, you were, you were <laughs> intimidating the players. <laughs> so Kwe not intimidating the players. No, yeah, no, so, yeah. no, yeah. no. He was the one who was just kicking everybody. I mean, I'm not but whatever. We are there yeah. with you guys, against you. I remember, you know, me, I was standing at the I remember the first time when I, met, when I met him, I don't know if you remember, I was still at Sundowns. Came to trial, got Sundowns. Mm. This guy comes through, he never used to smile. This guy never used to smile, all his serious eyes is big. I'm like, who's this guy? Ruthless, just going in, just going in. Two months later, he signed with Pirates. He gets there, just like, like you know, just that. like tackling everybody there. I'm like, hey, what's going on with <laughs> Rohi? No. But you know, I like the attitude because yeah. like, when you're playing for Pirates, when you look at it, the culture of Pirates, the defenders have always been those ruthless type of defenders. Mm. And they don't take no prisoners, you know what I mean? And you get like, you know, the Kaiser Chiefs players, you watch his boy, you know, what the Tukta Kumalos and whatever. <laughs> so you can see the culture. And I, I wish like, you know, the players now, they would understand how it used to be. Mm. You know, the Pakaneas, you used to have like one of those guys, like, you know, ugly type of guys that used to play for the team, the darkest guys that used to play for the team, right? And you have like a, 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 the Chiefs that used to be like Machita Shandi Pebo back in the days and all of that. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. that so he's one of those people that represented that, like, you know, when he was playing there. Like every time, mm -hmm. like, hey, what's going on? Now, like, I was bringing up the guys. Ah, and, 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 and then you'll find, you'll find um, 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 Morgan. Or yeah, 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 to push you. Yeah, Once he pushes me, yeah. that's when it starts. So can't and remember, can't remember, no, can't remember, no, can't no, I'm not the one who started the thing. Yeah, yeah, that's you know, and and and, and you, you, you you know if like um, playing for a, a big team, I'm a defender. I won't allow anyone to come and play in my office. Mm. There, you see, there back there. It's my office. Yeah. Even you, um, um, you want to score goals, it's your office. Yeah, I was so, never next to you, luckily. <laughs> Because so, you were yeah. running away, I don't know why you were running away. <laughs> you were running away. <laughs> Obviously, I'm, 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 the, I'm, I'm the second last line of yeah. the defense. If anything happens, it's a goal. Mm. And who are you going to blame? You won't blame the strikers that he misses 16 goals. Mm. You're going to blame me. Why? All right, in closing, because uh, we're almost out of time. Yeah. Quick one. Um, obviously, you played for Chiefs, so yeah. I'm going to ask you about Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah. 
where do you see them finishing on in, in the CAF Champions League? And funny enough, we had a chat with uh, uh, Fabian McCarthy. There we go. And he actually believes Chiefs can go as far as maybe even the final. Yeah. Oh, the final? Yes. Oh, the, this, this is a quarter final, right? Yes, this is a quarter final. Yeah, so <laughs> anything can happen there. <laughs> anything so can so, happen. So there's, there's, you know? there's four so, games for them to get to the yeah, final. Yeah. So four games to go to the final. Yes. And this is a, I, I think just, just one, game, one game at a time. I'm not going to come here and, and try and be... You've got to be realistic, you know? Where Chiefs is, it's a surprise to many of us. Mm. You know what I mean? They, they've done well. If they go to the semis uh, uh, from here, that would be a bonus for them. Mm. So even if they lose the next game in the Champions League, mm. I don't think anybody would be angry because nobody expected them to be there, mm. first of all. So if they go all the way to the final, hey, you know what I mean? It's like, wow. You know, but I, I, don't, I, I don't expect them to go all the way that far. They might surprise me because of the, the players that they have at the moment. Mm. The team is still trying to get built like, you know, for next season. Mm. So the coach is building for next season. Mm. That's, the mo that, that's, the, that's the most important thing. Also in the league, mm. like if they can be in the top eight, that's like, for me, that's like, hey, you guys have done well. Now, next season, then you can start looking at Chiefs winning stuff. Yeah. You know, so we're not going to come here and like, you know, act like, you know, like, you know, uh, Kaiser Chiefs is more like, it's more organized like how Pirates is or mm. how Sundowns is. Mm. You can expect sun, uh, Sundowns to go all the way because they've been doing it. Mm. You know what I mean? For Kaiser Chiefs, Lenny, <clears throat> I just hope that they win the next game. That's all I can say to you. All right. Uh, Roy, you've been through the journey. You've been to a final of the continental competition. Pirate is still playing in the group stages now. They there and there about. They've got a very good chance of advancing to the next round. Bona, from what you've seen, where, how far do you think they're gonna go? Um, what I've seen, um, they do have a chance, and um, if they can keep the consistency that they are keeping um, when they're going um, playing Africa, um, it's gonna help them to go all the way. But if it's gonna, they're gonna drop and then focus maybe on the league. That's why I was saying earlier on, they should calculate if they still have a chance to win the league mm. or they must maintain their position there or maybe get second position on the league so that they can go Champions League next season. Mm. Or they want to go all the way the, um, on Confederation Cup mm. because now you'll find players they go there to play Africa. Mm. Maybe two or three players are injured. Mm. They can't continue. You see, but it's all about the mental. If you told yourself that we want to reach what certain stage, and if you reach that stage now, you're thinking of reaching, you can say we want to go to the final and you haven't qualified yet. Mm. Start qualifying first mm. before you can think about going to the final. Once you qualified, win your next game. Mm. After you win your next game, think about the coming game. When you're done, with the um, last four, uh, uh, two games, and then it's the final. That's when you can think about the, the game final. at a time. So you think about the final when you are in the final, yeah. not... Uh, you can't think about the final, you're not there, yeah. but you think about the final. It means these other games, they will be um, um, just a walkthrough. Mm. No, because if you know um, Aotearoa Gago Child, those teams outside like maybe Egypt, Angola, Congo, mm. they putting everything that they have, have because they know their league, they're not getting much of the um, 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 money and stuff. Yeah. But they want to impress here. Yeah, but gentlemen, uh, we could carry on for the whole day. Uh, thank you very much for being, uh, for joining us right here on the Sisonke Disky Chat. Uh, Roy Mahamoud, a former London Pirates player, and Josta Raza, former Kaiser Chiefs player. My name is Len Moleko. This has been the Sisonke Disky Chat. And before I get out, don't forget, head out to now.volacom.co.za if you want to stand a chance to win yourself a Kentucky round. Like but Josta is actually. Yeah, Josta is actually. Doing it. Yes. I want that push, bro. I want the Kentucky round. I want the Kentucky round. Kentucky round. But you are swapping it around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 This will be very interesting. Please. Head out to now.vodacom.co.za uh, if you want to stand the chance to win that customized Kentucky rounder or that Gusheshe. Anyway, until the next episode, I will see you on the flip side.